guys, welcome back to Curio Boheem. Uh, my kiddo, I had to take my kiddo uh, to the uh, hospital to get some blood drawn for some wellness checks and stuff, um, but not related to COVID or anything like that, just for his own health and health. Um, anyway, we stopped at the thrift store on our way home just to kind of get out a little bit. We both had our masks on, so I was like, well, we'll just go out and see what there is in there. And found this really intriguing box. Okay, it has the turquoise handle and the turquoise sides and the turquoise bottom. And, you know, turquoise is my favorite color, so I had to, just had to stop and see. Um, and it had $15 on the top. I had to peel the sticker off because... This sucker weighs a ton. Anyway, so I pulled it off the shelf and realized how heavy it was. And when I opened it up, I was just like, oh my God. So I'm going to pull this top off and let you guys see this gorgeous lady. Oh my gosh. She's like a Cadillac or something. Like, <laughs> just look at all the chrome. It's a Selmore automatic zigzag. This is like, I just, I love the, the style of it and the shape of it and the color is just, oh, yes. But, oh my gosh, look how gorgeous this machine is. And it moves really good. I didn't plug it in and test it, but not like I was going to leave it behind. I mean, hello, I've never seen one of these, but... Um, it moves really smoothly, so uh, I don't anticipate having any issues sewing, but I'm going to plug it in here in a little bit, but I just had to show you, oh my gosh, it's so, so pretty. It is just gorgeous. Matching foot pedal and everything, um, but yeah, it has these little flip-up um, thread holders, pins, uh, yeah, so just absolutely, absolutely gorgeous machine, and yes, I'm gonna have to, uh, play with this one. <laughs> All right, stay tuned, guys. Okay, so I got it threaded, um, realized, tipped the machine up, and realized that the booklet was inside. <laughs> I was like, now that's a score right there. If you're you know, bought a vintage sewing machine, you know, sometimes the manuals can be a little elusive, but thank goodness the owner of this one placed it down in the box for me to find later. And it's a good thing because this one has a few different, um, a few different things, not, not a whole lot different than other sewing machines, but, um, this piece here is just a little bit different. Um, so it was nice to have that little sewing uh, threading guide there, and I will be doing some demonstrations with this later. But I uh, plugged it in, and it does have power. Uh, the light bulb is out in the um, in the light, but we're just going to I'm just trying to get used to my stitching here. I'm just going to try this out and see. How she sews. Well, she sounds nice. Pretty smooth. Let's see. Let's turn this up just a little bit. Let's see if the reverse works. Nope. Reverse works just fine. So, she's pretty tight, but she's sewing. I'm uh, going to go, I think that's about all I'm going to do with her for today, but uh, yeah, she's sewing just fine. No, no hiccups or anything. It's really, really tight stitching. So I'll probably back off the um, back the tension off on the bobbin and the top just a little bit. See if I can get it to sew a little bit better. Obviously, it needs a new needle. The needle is uh, catching. Uh, you can see there's a pucker here and a pucker here. 
That means the needle's dull and because it's um, having trouble getting through the fabric and it's just basically pulling on the thread. So, um, yeah, so I am so excited. I mean, getting this booklet with it, that was the cherry on top of this Cadillac. <laughs> so, um, I have never seen this kind before, so this was kind of neat. You know, I've kind of got a lot of vintage sewing machines. I think I have, I think this is number seven, <laughs> plus my regular sewing machine. Um, yeah, so I am really excited about this. This thing weighs a ton. I mean, it weighs as much as a new Cadillac for sure. The sucker is all metal. Um, there's not a plastic piece in this anywhere. It's 100% metal. Um, you know, so I, it doesn't surprise me that it runs well. Whoever had it definitely took care of it because it, you know, it is smooth and, you know, obviously they kept their instruction booklet and this instruction booklet is used, you know, you can tell it's been used a lot. So, um, whoever had it definitely used it and they took care of it and that is just awesome to be able to get this in, in, in my hands. <laughs> so, uh. Yeah, as soon as I, I I'm not going to sew any more on uh, with it right now because I'm going to go through it and do all the maintenance and clean it. It's got a lot of oil on it, as you can see. It's got a lot of oil and stuff. It needs to be uh, cleaned and oiled. You can see it's got a lot of old oil in there, kind of caked up here and there. So I'm going to go through it and clean it and re-oil it and make sure it's all really smooth before I run it anymore. I just wanted to check and make sure it was actually working. So it is working and oh, it's so pretty. I'm a sucker for a turquoise machine with chrome. <laughs> but this one is just such a neat design. I mean, you know, it has all these like little rolls and ripples and curvy edges and you know, it's definitely a very cool 50s machine, you know, with all these zigzaggy parts but I will be going through and making some videos and sharing the manual because I know from experience it is really frustrating when you have a vintage machine and you know there's maybe one copy of it out there and somebody wants twenty dollars for the digital version or something you know so I'm gonna be sharing this manual for free on my channel so yeah um, so excited, so excited about this machine. It is just so cool. I'm loving it. I love the case. It's the original case. And, um, this book doesn't have a date in it, but it does say full cash price in portable case, $349.50. That was in the fifties. Okay. That was a big chunk of change. They got these and were using them for creating their clothing and things like that. They they used them. So, that's pretty cool. I love that it had the manual and the manual is pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, I'm looking forward to doing some sewing with this. I know I keep saying I'm going to be doing some sewing projects and I keep getting sidetracked with other things, but I will be doing some more. I have the materials. Um, I've gotten some cool skirts and shirts that I'm going to be making some spring dresses. It may end up being summer dresses, but they're coming. <laughs> um, so many crafts, so little time. Anyway, if you have one of these, stay tuned for more videos uh, showing you you know, how to thread and how to, you know, set the different dials and things like that once I have become a little bit more accustomed to it and I have it cleaned up. So thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hit that subscribe button. See you later. Bye.